What is the word? What is the word? What is the word? Speedy back in the building. We got to talk about some bullshit real quick. You know what I'm saying? This is specifically what I be talking about when I be talking about the bullshit. Popular battle rapper, the smoke of NY, recently had an altercation, quote unquote, with popular battle rap blogger, Adep HNIC. Now, Adep is known for exposing a lot of weird shit to be going on in the community. You know what I'm saying? That's more his flavor of love. You know what I'm saying? He like seeing weird shit. You know what I'm saying? Anything that has to do with any type of evil in the world. The shit that, you know, a lot of people don't really like to speak on. He likes to speak on this and get paid off of it. You know what I'm saying? So he likes to get paid off of other people's misery. You know what I'm saying? And shit like that. It's like, you know, trauma and all that shit that people don't really like to talk about. It's the shit that he's going to expose and make money off it, regardless of who you are, you know what I'm saying? Regardless if you're a victim or if you're somebody who went and did this shit, he's going to expose you just so he can get paid. Strictly so he can get paid. And not so this nigga, you know what I'm saying? And the thing is, I used to think that the motherfuckers actually cared, but then it's like, how, how, do you, how do you care about what's going on if you only want to be right and then when you're right, you don't do anything about it? You know what I'm saying that's 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 that has always been my problem with any conspiracy theorists. It's like, all right, you believe in these conspiracies, you draft these conspiracies, and then you present them to the forefront, and then when you're proved to be right, you don't do anything about it. You just, yeah, I was right. I told you I called this out. Why didn't you do nothing about it? Because now you can take legal action. If you were correct this entire time, why don't you take legal action? Because clearly, what they're doing is illegal inhumane disingenuous doesn't belong in a culture but you just want to call them out so you can get paid okay that makes sense if i think beasley doing some shit i should call him out and if he responds i'm gonna get some clout off of it all right makes sense all right makes sense and then he's a smart nigga you know what i'm saying but let's get down to the nitty gritty, right? So, the smoke of NY has been, you know what I'm saying, trying to beef with the nigga Adept for the longest. Adept found out a lot of shit about the smoke of NY. Like, he's the face of some type of um, parenting mentorship program, you know what I'm saying? You know, weird shit like that, you know what I mean? Getting involved in his family business and shit like that, you know what I mean? And apparently this is all because somebody talked about Adept's mom. Nobody talks about my mama, man. You elementary school and them face-ass niggas, like... And niggas is, is supposed to be real niggas. Niggas supposed to be street niggas. Niggas supposed to be hood niggas, right? But you can't handle somebody talking about your mama. Crazy. So, anyways, Smoker NY talks about this nigga mom. This nigga talk about this nigga kids and his, though his parents and right. You know what I'm saying? So niggas is both in the wrong. And now they supposed to knuckle up or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Niggas go love. Niggas say, yo, slide to the Bronx. You know what I'm saying? We can sort this shit out in the Bronx, whatever. Smoke and why go to the Bronx. Now, according to Adept, Smoke pulled up on 184th, right? Wherever the fuck that is. And Adept was talking about some 190 or Fordham or whatever the fuck it is, right? And Adept says that they're six blocks away from each other. They're six blocks away from each other. But they didn't link up. Adept says we were trying to meet up at Fordham train station, but he was on 184, and I was waiting for about 30 minutes to an hour. Why are you waiting 30 minutes to an hour? It don't take an hour to walk six blocks. Both of y'all could have walked three blocks if y'all really wanted to link up. So, the Smoke and NY is on live. You know what I'm saying? Apparently, he says that, you know what I'm saying, his phone's about to die, and he ends the stream. Now, in that very same moment in which he ends the stream, on 184th, a dub goes live, and he says, yo, here he go right here. And he said, yo, where he at? Perfect, perfect. Where he at? Where he at? Perfect. Like, what you mean perfect? You saying where he at, then you saying perfect. You never had eyes on a nigga. And then you flip the camera and there's some random dude crossing the street with a gray beanie on. 
So at what point did y'all actually link up? Because if y'all didn't link up at Fordham train station and he was in front of Papa John's on 184, how the hell are you pointing at some 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 shoe shop on 190? This is my whole thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of questions that were asked were not answered. You know what I'm saying? Adept had, uh, supposedly had a witness. You know what I'm saying? Had multiple witnesses. Um, One being Truly Laced. Um, you know what I'm saying? A dancer. And then another being Rick E., a fanboy. You know what I'm saying? So, you have a dancer and a fanboy with you. Oh, and then not to mention your family that you said you brought with you because you didn't know if Smoke was bringing anybody. When well, he was on live and didn't have anybody with him. So, you have a dub and his six minions versus the Smoker and Wild, which is nowhere to be found, right? 20 minutes later, a dub goes live recording a group of people or whatever, and he's saying, There go the Smoker and Wild right there in the ambulance. Or talking to the, to the Pataleo nigga, and it's like. So where's the fight at then? When did y'all fight? And then when Adept came up to DNA Two channel, he said that Smoke was running and moonwalking, but he was leaking. So it's like there's there's so many uh, there's so many details missing for one. Cause like you said, we tried to link up on Fordham, one ninety. But Smoke was on 184. So my confusion is, when the fuck did Smoke travel this six blocks? Because if y'all was waiting there for 30 minutes to an hour, how didn't y'all been link up? Which I was waiting. Smoke was saying, come over here. And you were saying, come over here. This is your hood, right? Why are you scared to go off of Fordham? Why you why are you scared to go to 184? Smoke already over there. And you got six niggas with you. So with all that bullshit, you know what I'm saying? Mind you, story not out, footage not out. It's just niggas saying a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying? Ricky, I mean, not Ricky. Adept was like, yo, shout out to Ricky from DNA Tooth Channel. You can ask him, you can ask him, you can ask him. And every time we asked him, he didn't say a motherfucking thing. So your witness does not want to testify for you. There's no footage of this fight. And then the only ambulance that was seen was after you were walking away so you four four five six blocks away from the pata leo nigga and now this ambulance is coming like this is why i hate the better rap community because some of the smartest niggas in here think everybody else is fucking stupid it's like bro if there's people supporting your channel they have to have some type of intellect right they have to be some type of smart to actually understand the terminology that you use right But anyways, after all this shit, right, Adept goes live again. You know what I'm saying? And money just start pouring into the cash app. 400 bands, 500,000 to this nigga cash app. I don't know where these battle rap fans is getting this money from. But if y'all niggas got 500,000 to be sending to a blogger, I think you should be spending your time doing other shit, my guy. Like, niggas... 100 grand off rips straight to the joint. Now I'm hating because I know that this is fake beef and anybody with any type of head is not going to, you know what I'm saying, just believe this shit that he's saying. Now, if you know that in the better community, there's dumbass, sheltered ass, gullible in the face ass niggas who just, you know what I'm saying, be doing whatever the fuck they be doing without thinking. Now, these are the people that are easily caught into the dumb shit, you know what I'm saying? They not going to question nothing. They just going to believe everything. Adept knows this. He knows that the better rep community is stupid. You know what I'm saying? That's the reason why he getting his views. That's the reason why he getting his subscribers. If you come up here with anything of substance that actually makes sense and you're not trying to twist shit around and do that shit for entertainment or for views, then it's a different type of story, you know what I'm saying? But since you do what you do, you know what I'm saying? It's going to look that way. You know what I'm saying? It's like a motherfucker going to Hollywood and then trying to out all the shit that's happening in there. It's like, nigga, that's the reason why you went there. You went to Beasley's house. That's how you know about Beasley's house. That's how you know that shit is real. You went to Beasley's house. 
And then you're trying to call out all the shit to be happening. Nigga, a beastly house clearly ain't that bad if you went over there the same way as the rest of the battlers. You know what I'm saying? So, this is shit I be talking about. Niggas be trying to complain about shit that they really be into. You know what I'm saying? When niggas is out here scamming the culture, don't nobody give a fuck, bro. Nobody ever give a fuck when niggas is scamming the culture. But when y'all think it's some type of culture vulture, just trying to come in here and get whatever, you know what I'm saying? Y'all support this shit. I did this shit with Remy Ma. I did this shit with Greedy Gotti. I'm doing this shit with Adept. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Adept done put in work over the years, of course, but that doesn't warrant fake beef. And then niggas was trying to say, oh, if he put out the video, it's incriminating. You bitch-ass nigga. Niggas already got paid for this shit. Niggas already got paid for this shit. Like, I don't think niggas understand how the court of law works. You know what I'm saying? You do realize that you don't need a video to confirm if an assault happened. If I go to the ambulance and I'm all cut up, leaking and shit like that, and niggas ask me what happened, I can't just say I fell. I can't. Because then niggas going to run their test. Niggas going to do their shit. Niggas is professionals, bro. But y'all want me to believe that the police is so fucking stupid that they not going to come after a duck for assaulting and inflicting wounds onto somebody that's not even of that city or state? That's what you want me to believe. Where you want me to believe that niggas jumped smoking NY or, or, or got the one on and got the best of them and he's leaking and nobody's doing anything. about Nigga, no, you, you have to answer to that, especially in New York. What the laws is like that? Nigga, what? Niggas get booked in New York for less. And you mean to tell me you walked off scot-free after just bleep? Like, nah, bro. It ain't, nah, bro. Like, yo, like, how dumb do you fans in the face ass niggas have to be to believe this shit? But y'all want me to believe it just because y'all believe this shit. Y'all got finessed for 500000 by a blogger. Mind you, this nigga say that he make software... The same exact software that's being used to destroy humanity. This is the type of nigga that we're talking about. All of the software that's going to be used against us in the upcoming months, years, or whatever, this is the shit that Adept is making. And y'all want me to, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy. That's fucking wicked, dog. Y'all really be believing the weirdo shit, man. Y'all really be believing this weirdo shit. And then it's crazy if this nigga Adept would have come out saying some weirdo shit, y'all would support it. Anything that Adept has exposed, he's also guilty of doing. Why do you think he recognized these things so easily? Because he actually actively does this shit. If you're actively doing some shit, you're going to know the ins and outs. It just makes sense. Like, I'm saying, then... When anybody was trying to get a straight answer from a Dup or Rick E, nobody got it. But it's supposed to be footage, right? Then a nigga Rick E said, after hearing what a Dup just told you, now it don't mean nothing. If the footage don't mean nothing because a Dup said niggas was moonwalking, that means niggas was moonwalking, there was no fight. Y'all scared to show a fight? A fight. If Smoker NY is in New Jersey, and your bitch ass is at home in the in, in the fucking apartment that your subscribers is paying for. Then why are you scared to show a video? Rick, you're not going to get convicted. Like, you know what I'm saying? Even if niggas get booked or arrested, they just putting y'all in a system. Niggas is not really trying to convict y'all or nothing. Do all this weird ass shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Niggas not doing that. I don't get it, man. Y'all niggas is weird as hell, bro. Like, y'all niggas be trying to make it seem like y'all the most thoroughest niggas in the world. And then when niggas call y'all out on the shit. And, 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 and yo, DNA Tooth? Harlem? Y'all niggas did not press a depth the way that y'all was supposed to press that nigga. Like, word, I don't get it, man. If there's some type of prominent figure in this shit that's highly respected, everybody be sucking dick, bro. Call that nigga out on his bullshit. You want to say that you don't want to pay him his 50, but you're not acting like it. You're just making it seem like you don't want to pay him his 50. Nigga, a King just gave you $50. Here's the thing. Like, yo, that's why I be saying. Half this shit don't even be y'all money. Half this shit don't even be y'all content. Half this shit be fucking fake. But y'all niggas just going to keep supporting the weird shit and keep, you know what I'm saying? And then y'all going to complain when some more shit happens. That shit fucked up, bro. And, and again, these are the prominent figures. The niggas that got 
thousands and thousands and thousands of subscribers. Niggas, they got hundreds of thousands of views, millions of views. And I ain't going to lie, it's so easy for y'all to get away with it because there ain't so many people out here that's like me that's going to recognize the dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'm definitely going to salute you because the better at community is fucking retarded and gullible as hell. Therefore, if you can get any money out of them for whatever reason, so be it. I ain't going to lie. Now, I'm ready to reignite all the beef I've ever had with anybody just so that we can fake a link up and get paid off of that shit. Like, what is niggas in this community that really got problems with niggas, bro? You know how many videos done came out of Remedy Loco fighting? Is that incriminating? Like, dog, y'all niggas be straight bitch-made pussy. Like, dog, there ain't no fucking way that y'all niggas want me to respect y'all for anything now. Like anything at all. And niggas think I got beef for everybody. Now I got beef for everybody because I really see that y'all niggas is straight bitch made in the face ass niggas, bro. Like, word? I'm really glad I never made no type of noise in this shit because if I made some type of noise in this shit and I came in doing the type of shit that I do, everybody would want to kill me. Because y'all niggas not like that. Y'all niggas be scared to put out a fight video. Y'all niggas is scared to question a nigga with 2,000 subscribers. But y'all got it, bro. I'm going to catch y'all niggas on the flip, man. A depth for next to the culture for $400, and he not giving that shit back. Rick E, don't want your $50, Tooth. That nigga done got his cut from a depth. You know what I'm saying? Harlem, you should have did a way better job of uh, interrogating that nigga. You want to know all this information about what DC was doing in his sleep, but you don't want to know what the fuck was going on with your mans. That's crazy. Y'all rather know all this gay shit and question all this gay shit and try to get as much information as y'all can. But when it comes to some scumbag in the face ass nigga that's trying to make it seem like he's so thorough, y'all don't want to expose that shit. All right. Now, when some shit happened and it come out that a duck was lying or whatever, however long it is, you know what I'm saying? When smoke come out and say this is what it is, I don't want to hear shit from nobody, dog. Because time after time after time after time again, I'm always calling out the shit that be going on and don't nobody want to... Watch this shit. And then as soon as this shit happened, then the whole community act weird. That's the reason why I don't like battle rap, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'll catch y'all niggas on the flip, man. Speedy out.